Space Tech Expo 2019. We now have Brian and Nikki from uh, Elements Material Technology. Welcome, first of all, to the channel. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, give me some background to the company, Nikki. We are a long legacy of company, starting in 1827 with Stork Testing, and we've migrated since then into Element, which is now a little over 200 labs, about 6,700 people. So we've grown substantially. What are the challenges then, uh, Brian, with uh, the, the evolving of testing, because the, the, the industry, aerospace and space, has changed radically, hasn't it? What are some of the challenges you have? Uh, basically, making sure you keep up with the trends of what's going on with the industry, making sure that you have all the right people that are trained, the expertise, uh, the approvals and the accreditations to make sure that you're able to keep up with the market. Uh, the people and the manpower are definitely uh, a challenge to make sure we, we're fully staffed. And in terms of um, getting your people working with your customers, it's a lot of collaboration, I understand? Yes, definitely. I mean, most of our stuff requires a level of project management when our customers come in to do the testing, and especially on the you know, product qualification side to really understand the test plan with the customer and go through that. So definitely requires a lot of coordination. So a lot of evolution over the last few years. I want you to put your crystal, uh, crystal ball in your hands now and think what's going to be happening in your industry in the next decade. How's it going to change? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I mean, some of the trends we're seeing right now is uh, uh, the uh, evolving additive manufacturing technology, right? So there's a lot of that going into aerospace and the space applications. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of unknown right now in that, uh, in that market, and we're hopefully Element will be the right uh, company to help move the technology forward. I think especially like as the technology increases, the boundary conditions and what we have to test things to gets bigger and bigger. And so just making sure that we're keeping up with that technology too. So it's interesting. It's definitely, you know, taking some effort to make sure that we stay up, up to date on that.